addressed. Question number seven, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Tēnā koutou te whare. Uh, my question is to the Prime Minister and us. Does he have confidence in all his ministers? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, yes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. What action will the Prime Minister take to correct the record given that he, his Minister of Finance, his Minister of Social Development and others, has spent the past three months claiming that inequality and poverty had not worsened under National, when in fact they knew that 45,000 more children are living in poverty than when National took power? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, none. We stand by the view that income inequality isn't widening. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Ture. Can the, minister, the Prime Minister confirm that he was wrong when he said in his State of the Nation speech that the poor are not getting poorer, when in fact 285,000 New Zealand children, 20,000 more than estimated, are living in poverty? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, no, I was right. Entry. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Why did the Prime Minister mislead the House on January 29th when he said, quote, inequality has not been widening in the last 10 years, it has been very consistent over the last 10 years, when in fact inequality was declining before National took power and then rose to historic levels? I'll allow the Prime Minister to answer that question. Mr Speaker, I didn't, and the member's wrong. Supplementary question, Supplementary. Materia Turo. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Prime Minister concerned that staff from the Minister of Finance's office hand-delivered information to the press gallery in January, arguing that inequality was flatlining, when the Finance Minister and his office knew that the data they were relying on was wrong? And if so, what will he do about that? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, in fact, um, members of uh, Mr English's staff were right. Uh, I can actually see, I suppose, why people do hand-deliver things, though, because if you email them, you're, you're, you are bound to email uh, your policy, as the Labor Party has done to the National Party this afternoon. That answer did not address the question at all. It was a straight question. It was Order. very clear. Order. 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 The, the question was, is the Prime Minister concerned about... Order. I'm on my feet. The question was, is the Prime Minister concerned about members of the staff and the Minister of Finance is often hand-delivering information, etc. He said it saw no concern on that at all. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Given that we all now know that 45,000 more children are living in poverty than before National came to power. Was Paula Bennett correct to say on February 12 this year that uh, over the past five years, on every measure, child poverty has flatlined? And if she was not correct, what will the Prime Minister do to make sure she corrects the record? Right, Honourable Prime Speaker, Minister. Firstly, I'd need to uh, check uh, the details of exactly what's said, because as we often know, uh, things are taken out of context or incorrect. But, but Mr Speaker, I think it is worth just taking a second um, to reflect on the situation, because the member's quite wrong. Income inequality is not growing in New Zealand. It's flatlined. <laughs> Secondly, this is a government that has spent billions and billions and billions of dollars. It's actually had to borrow to support the most vulnerable and at-risk New Zealanders. It might be very inconvenient for the member uh, to actually have to acknowledge the great work that the national government has done in the last five and a half years in this area, but actually it's the facts. Order. Supplementary question, Materia Turo. Does the Prime Minister not really believe that the public can see that he's simply dancing on the head of a pin to suggest that inequality is declining when, in fact, since the extreme high in 2010, it has corrected slightly to settle at near record high levels. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, I stand by the view that there is no evidence to support that income inequality is widening. I know the member doesn't want to accept uh, Brian Perry's work, but uh, 
but that is the definitive study in this area, and it's correct. If the member wanted to add everything into her numbers, she'd come up with the same results that Brian Perry does, and that is that income inequality has been flatlining over the course of the last decade or so. Supplementary question, Materia Toure. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Is the Prime Minister suggesting that these revelations that child poverty is much worse than previously thought and that 45,000 more children are living in poverty under his government should make no difference to his policy programme for those 45,000 children? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, the government deals with real people, not, not historical data. In fact, the government borrowed billions of dollars to support the most at-risk New Zealanders during this time and was absolutely right to do so. And if anything, the data just confirms how right we were to borrow those billions of extra dollars to support these youngsters. Supplementary question, Honourable David Parker. Prime Minister, aware that the uh, Perry report which relies upon income inequality figures, that those income inequality figures exclude capital gains that are concentrated amongst the most wealthy. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, um, I don't have all the details of every number that's in and out. But, um, but if, the member, if the member wants to progress a comprehensive capital gains tax, it's going to be very interesting to have that discussion on the campaign trail when Mr Cunliffe will be telling New Zealanders they will be facing a capital gains tax on their family home. But maybe, maybe he won't say exactly the same thing to them that he says to others, as we're getting many reports of at the moment. Order. Supple order. Supplementary question, Materia Turay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Isn't it the truth that amidst a major national debate about inequality and poverty, the Prime Minister and his ministers used data they knew to be wrong to mislead the public into thinking that child poverty was not a national crisis? Uh, All right, Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, in a word, no. Supplementary question, Materia Turay. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Now that the Prime Minister knows that 45,000 more children are living in poverty since he became Prime Minister, will he finally acknowledge that not a single policy of his or his government has alleviated the appalling poverty that each of these children and their families are suffering? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, all that really shows you is how out of touch that member is, because 60 per cent of all children in New Zealand that are registered in poverty, um, as defined by uh, the OECD measure, are those living on welfare-based homes. There are 1,500 people going off welfare a week into work as a result of the national-led government. Every policy that I see from the Greens would put those people back on the dole queue. And if that's what the member wants, she should keep advancing the sorts of policies that she's doing. Question number eight, Dr Jan Yang. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health.